Hey guys, it's Coach Steve and I've got this week's workout brief. Coming in on Monday, we're going to continue doing our pause squats with the front squats, this time for four sets of one. Um, these are going to be um, fairly heavy, really focusing in on that three second pause at the bottom though. So go as heavy as you can while maintaining that guy. Um, do not rush out of the bottom of the hole. That's the whole point of this is to get stronger at the bottom where lifting is usually the weakest. Um, so get better at your weakest point. After that, we're going into a seven round workout. Um, and the movements here will go fairly quickly, um, but they will add up. So two devil's press that looks a lot like a burpee, a burpee with, with dumbbells in your hands and then taking those dumbbells and going overhead. Um, so two of those, five burpee pull-ups, and 21 air squats. Now, none of that should be devastating. That should be something that just goes fairly um, even-paced, nothing crazy, but you're going to get really sweaty. Everything's going to be tired in this one. Um, so just realize that and just pace this one so you can keep going. Um, goal here is 13 to 15 minutes with a 17 minute cap. On Tuesday, we're going to jump right into a 24 minute AMRAP. And this one is about core and breathing. So really that becomes about breathing and breathing. Um, but you're going to feel some, some tension. You're going to feel some tightness. You're going to feel some cramping in that midsection, which will make breathing even harder. 24 minute AMRAP, lots of sit-ups, 48 sit-ups, 24 calories on the biker rower, 48 bodybuilders or up downs. Um, we're, we're looking at not doing the push up portion here. So just going down and up as fast as you can. These should be quick, should be um, very cardiovascular intensive, not muscular. Um, and then 24 hollow rocks. So between those things, we've got core, breathe, core, breathe. And that's really where this is going to go. I mean, it's, it's going to be that stimulus between both of those. Um, so kind of just going through that nice, even pace. Do not um, let that core go to failure. Don't let the cramps kept, catch up with you. Good, even, consistent numbers. Um, something that you can manage without completely faltering. After we're done with that, we got a little uh, quality uh, posterior chain cash out with some banded pull-throughs and single leg glute bridges. On Wednesday... Uh, continuing with our push press strength work, two sets of sixes, two sets of four, um, going a little bit heavier than we did last week, continuing to amp that up um, so that we can, can we can build volume for those reps and ultimately build on our one rep max. Once we're done with that, a very uh, short, fast hitting uh, shoulder to overhead with running. Um, going to be about eight to 11 minutes and there's nothing uh, to hide from here. This is going to be run hard, get in, shoulder to overhead and continue through three rounds. Um, very basic. Um, focus on a pace on the run that's not, uh, not a rest. Push it just a little bit, but make sure that you're not going so hot that you can't get in and get to the bar. That's going to be kind of the balance between these two is how fast can you run versus get to the bar and go through those reps. Um, we're looking for those uh, shoulder to overhead to be pretty close to unbroken. Maybe not completely, but it should be in that realm of, man, this is close. I should be able to do it kind of weight. On Thursday, we're going to start off playing with some power cleans and use that during our workout. Um, and this is going to feel like three separate workouts. So we're going to do 21 hang power cleans, 42 lunges, just no weight, just you doing through it. And then a 500 meter run, or, or we'll put in a bike or a uh, 500 meter row. We'll put in a bike or run as an option as well. We're going to rest a minute. And then you're going to do the same thing for 15 reps, 30 lunges and the same distance. Rest a minute, nine hang power cleans, 18 lunges, and then the same distance cardio. Um, that's, that means you're going to hit hard, rest, hit hard, rest, hit hard. But each time the work gets a little bit easier, 
which is good because the rest isn't enough to take you all the way back up. So you're, you're going to slowly wear down, which is the design of this workout. Once we've completed that, we go into our uh, back and bicep uh, pump session, pendle rows, strict pull-ups and hammer curls. We've been doing this about once a week for the last couple of weeks, gonna continue that theme. On Friday, Strength side today is deadlifts, going five or four sets of five and looking for about that 70% of your one rep max, not looking for a five rep max here, trying to go and just build that capacity for five reps for four sets. Once we're done with that, we have more deadlifts. Five rounds, 50 double unders, 10 deadlifts, and this should be fast. Those 50 double unders, should be something that you can do very, very quickly. Um, I want people to try to try to work on those double unders, um, try to get those, those take a lot of practice. So um, keep in mind that we're programming double unders, even if, if starting to programming them down those levels just a little bit, I want people to start playing with them and continue playing with them um, before you go to singles. You're not gonna get any better just, just playing with singles. That deadlift weight should be, a weight that you can move, um, but it's gonna be pretty heavy, especially after that strength portion, you're gonna be taxed a little bit. Um, it's gonna be moderately heavy. Don't feel like you have to go unbroken, but don't take long sets and don't go to singles. Don't resort to singles on this one. You're gonna be better off hitting three to five reps, taking a short break, three to five reps, continuing through that way. That's the goal of this workout. No long breaks, though. This, this one's going to be a push. On Saturday, going in to a 28-minute AMRAP, and this is not a partner workout for this Saturday. 800-meter run, 20 med ball cleans. That looks like a med ball squat clean. And then 20 Russian kettlebell swings, and we're going heavy. Um, this is going to be a leg torture. The run is going to get blood flowing and breathing up, and you're going to be overall a little bit tired. Those med ball cleans are going to cramp up the legs, and the kettlebell swings being heavier are going to really tax that posterior side. So every time you go through this one, it's going to be more of a challenge. Um, just keep that in mind. Pace it early, but don't, don't let yourself uh, be talked into just kind of muddling through this. Move through with intention, um, run it the best you can. Moving forward is, is the important part. Those med ball cleans, keep them, keep them relatively clean. Keep in mind, there's a lot of down and ups in that med ball clean. So there's times where you can set it down, take a short break and get going. Those Russian swings, break them up, be smart with that. Um, making sure that it is really that posterior change, that good solid hip hinge that's getting attacked. That's what we have coming up this week, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the gym. Bye.